You've heard of unconditional love, but have you heard of the secret to unconditional happiness and allowing more into your life? More wealth, more success, and more love. More freedom in your life right now. Welcome to the Happy Bar with Israel Savage. I had a moment where I kind of realized how, like, I recognize that I have、um, practice thoughts, as you called them. Like they were, they were made very clear to me, as opposed to me being in the rut of practice thoughts,、um, where,、uh, without boring everybody with the details, an opportunity opened itself up to me, but it was sooner than I wanted and not in the way that I wanted. So I overreacted. Keep in mind, this is all working, you know, for my betterment. It's it's a good thing, in the end. But the way it happened wasn't what I wanted, and I realized that instead of focusing on the good that it's going to do for me、um, in the long run, especially with my career and 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 whatnot, I was focusing on the fact that you know this person said this and it happened this way, and、um, it should have happened exactly when I wanted it to. And I realized, wow. Because I, you know, because I have these practice thoughts, I'm only focusing on the bad, and I'm not realizing, <laughs> I'm not realizing that, like in the end, I'm gonna get what I wanted out of this whole situation.、Um, so I guess it's not really a question; it's more of like a,、um, not that you would be shocked, but you're right. Like <laughs> these, these,、um, they're very real. Like practice thoughts are very real,、um, and and not to say that I was skeptical about them before, but more so that I was.、Um, Convinced that I was right about what I was, what my practice thoughts were pointing me towards. So thank you for putting words to what I finally realized. You know, when you are, whatever feeling place that you're in, that's the only, that's your vantage point for everything. In other words, you only have access to thoughts that are in that similar feeling place, perspectives that are in that similar feeling place.、Um, someone sent me an email, and they were complaining in a way about the behavior of someone else, but also it seemed like they were maybe complaining about something that I did. Well, I was not in my not so, I was in my not so good feeling place, and so I read that email as. This person is、uh, is you know complaining about what I did, and you know what?、Uh, she's always like this, and she's always doing this, and always this, and always that, and always this, and、uh, and 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 so I wrote this long text of about three paragraphs that basically said, "Listen, this is the way it is, and get over it, or I, or I'm not or I'm not helping with this project anymore." That, you know, in so many words,、um, you take it or leave it. And then I said, "All right, Israel. You know." And again, I was there was momentum happening, but I at least I stood back for a second and didn't send the email. <laughs> and I, th- I thought, "Let me just go. This doesn't feel good. I don't know what to do here, but it doesn't feel good." And so I went and I did some things that make me feel good. I had some lemon water. I sat down. I you know did some other stuff. And then I decided to come back to her message, and I read it again, and I read it completely differently. She wasn't talking about me at all,、uh, <laughs> and、uh, and so instead, I sent a short one sentence、uh, text back that said,、uh, "You know, before I respond, let me just ask a clarifying question:、um, Is it this person's behavior that you're upset about, or something that I did, right?" Uh, that's a whole step that I missed. I made a lot of assumptions and acted based on a lot of emotional assumptions, and those assumptions were based on the feeling place that I was in. What would have happened out of that? Well, she would have reacted back, and in a way, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. In other words, when we think everyone is against us. Everybody's against me. Everybody, everybody's against me, and we start to make choices and react to people as if they are against us. Then eventually, people are against us. They don't want to be around you. They don't want to interact with you. They are defensive around you because you are expecting 
a defensiveness, right? And so getting into your, the best gift you can give yourself and everyone else is to get into a better and better feeling place before you take action, before you take action, get into a, before you write, before you go to an audition, get into a better and better feeling place. And it gets easier. It gets easier and easier. At first, it may feel clunky. It may feel like you're wasting time. It is the best use of your time. Uh, it is the biggest investment that you can make in the outcome of what you want. Uh, more? No, that pretty much hit it right on the head. I mean, I was nodding throughout the whole thing because I, I agreed. I agree with a lot of that, and it, it was a lot of what I went through. So, thank you for that. If you liked what you just heard, then take inspired action now. That's right. Act while you are feeling good and build on your momentum. Schedule your free discovery call with me at instudios-nyc.com forward slash happy bar.